Here we are with Mr. Ulrich uh, from Audi. Uh, so, Mr. Ulrich, uh, in 2014, we know that the Le Mans uh, contender was not the best, but in uh, at the end, uh, in the end, Audi won. So, what do you expect for 2015? Yeah, the 2014 season was for sure not an easy one for us. Uh, we have been competitive at the very first race immediately in Silverstone, but then ended up with two crashes and with zero points. And if you're in a championship on that level, if you come out of the very first race with zero points, that's not a good start in the season. I have to say the victory in Le Mans was very important for our team and it showed just how strong the team is. We had the strongest competition ever, but at the end we could make it. A great effort, a great result for Audi. We've been all very proud on that. The rest of the season was quite difficult. The race in the United States, we could win with a 1-2. We had there, for sure, a good uh, decision from the strategics, but we had as well a competitive cars. On quite some other races, we had to accept that we have not been on the level of our competitors, but we always tried to collect as many points as possible. And it was great to make a podium in the very last race because this was something that had to happen for Tom. We couldn't have stopped without Tom not having on the podium. It is motivation for this year. We worked very hard uh, to develop the car for 2015. It's based on the 2014 car, but we have some new ideas in the car and we think we will be competitive. Regarding the drivers, um, you changed, of course, uh, Tom Christensen, who retired uh, by Oliver Jarvis. Uh, how come this choice? Uh, the choice for Oliver came out of having him for a long period of time in our team. He was doing DTM for us. Uh, he was doing uh, GT races in Japan last year. He was active with the team in different activities. He was in the program for Le Mans since quite some time. And so I think it was just time to bring him in one of the two WEC cars. And we are sure that he is a good support for the other two guys that have to find a way to stay competitive without Tom. You have a newcomer as well, um, another German, um, Rene Rast. Uh, how come this decision, uh, maybe after his race uh, in LMP2 last year, in 2014, uh, Le Mans? Uh, Rene proved in the last two years with uh, excellent races in several GT endurance races uh, and showed his competitiveness. Uh, the LMP2 activity last year in Le Mans as well was an additional point that was important to help us for this choice. I'm really happy that we have Rennie now in the team and I'm sure that he will give us a big support and the third car will be for sure a very competitive one like we had it last year. And regarding your opponents, uh, we know that uh, Porsche comes with three cars and Nissan as well. So what do you expect from, from all of them? So uh, Toyota included, uh, do you think the competition will be higher in 2015, even higher? This is what I'm quite sure because uh, for Porsche it was 2014 was the very first season and they showed already a very strong uh, performance. Toyota was strong the whole year long. Nissan is now here as a new contender. They for sure will push to be competitive as well with a very interesting concept. Uh, a championship that is growing year by year. It is getting more and more difficult to win but Hopefully at the end, the one that could, can make it can be proud because strong competition, high value of a championship. So see you in Le Mans for the 24 hours in 2015 then. Looking forward for that. Thank you.